Hey everybody, it's Arog Mizu here. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you a trick on how you can clear 812 really easy with any battle power. However, there's some caveats to this. All right, so let's go to 812 itself. So you look here, there's three objectives. Have all members survive, die less than once, and clear in 150 seconds. So depending on your battle power for this trick, if you use it, you may not be able to clear the stage in 150 seconds. However, if you're just trying to clear the stage overall, well, the good news is you can use any battle power. So if you look here, my battle power is 230, 249, and 639. So essentially you can clear the stage, but there's a caveat to this. If your battle power is so low, it's going to take you a long time in order to clear the stage, and you will have to focus intensely in order to not die. This trick works better for some characters than others. If you use melee characters, this trick will work out a lot easier for you. And I highly suggest that you use Nanami because her QTE ability is really useful for the knockdown. So the knockdown effect is really nice. On top of it, she reduces the enemy's defense by 10%, which is nice as well. So I highly recommend using her. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm going to try to call out the abilities the best that I can. It's really hard to already play this game, but on top of it, to explain it and play it all live, that's a skill that I have to work out on. So I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. You can translate the buttons based off of what inputs you're using. If you're using your mobile device or your iPad, or if you're using a controller, it's going to be different. So just translate the buttons that I'm using. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna go towards him. Auto attack, dodge here. You can use your QTE with the Nami to knock him down to do extra autos. Dodge here. So basically when you see the white lines, after like 0.25 seconds, hit the dodge button. And you can essentially lock him into place here, QTE. As you can see, I'm not trying to use too many QTE abilities because it'll throw my timing off and he'll attack me. And if you... Oh, I may have dodged too late, QTE. Maybe I can reset. If your timing is off, he'll enter the next phase where he'll slash forward and damage you. So when you're dodging, never let go of the forward key. You want to dodge towards him. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So when you're dodging forward, always press the forward key. Because what happens is, if you're not pressing the forward key and you dodge backwards, He's going to enter his next attack phase. So QTE. And make sure you don't press your ultimate ability. Oh, dodge. Make sure you don't press your ultimate ability because if you do, it's going to throw off the timing of things. QTE. So let's get back to the timing again. Dodge. 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 QTE. I like using the Nami's specifically because it really knocks him down and you can dish out that extra damage. But since I have no more yellow orbs, it's going to be a lot trickier. So I can use blue, that's fine. Dodge here. It may be tricky dodging- oh, timing's off here. It may be tricky dodging within the matrix mode, but the timing is essentially the same. The moment you see it, just think about how much time you're going to spend to dodge. Oh. And the other tricky part is if your camera gets messed up. So we can reset and reposition ourselves. Oh, I died. But yeah, so basically you get the gist of it. With ranged characters, I don't think this trick works. And with Nanami itself, I don't think it works because her auto attacks are kind of weird. So definitely this is a lot easier on some characters than others. Yeah, it works with Nami, but it's kind of weird. I messed up there. Let me try it again. Oh, I can't even try it again. But basically, you can do it with Nami, but the timing is a little bit weird. You're going to have to work on that. But with other characters, it's definitely a lot easier. If you use your real team, it's going to be a lot easier. But I'll show you Watanabe. I have him sort of upgraded. He doesn't have memories on him. But essentially, it's easier on certain characters. For ranged characters, this trick, I haven't been able to make it work out well. But for melee characters, it definitely works. 
for Kamui, I don't know if it works for him because I don't own Kamui. So let's go. Auto. Dodge. QTE. Dodge. Dodge. So I don't like using Watanabe specifically because if he enters his shadow form, it's hard as heck to see when to. Oh, I messed up the timing. If he enters his shadow form, it's super hard to see when to dodge exactly. I messed up again. Ooh, he dead. But yeah, if you enter shadow form, it's just really hard to see visually. Oh, looks like I can do it with Bianca. Oh no, I can't. I'm just getting wrecked. But yeah. You can test out which characters you have based off your team. And then just see if it works for you. So this is my main team that I'm using. So I cleared it with Lucia Dawn, Liv, A-Rank, and I used Nanami as well for the knockdown and also the defense reduction, which is really nice. So essentially, you should be able to clear the stage really easy once you have the timings down in order to dodge. And once you have the appropriate battle power, you'll be able to clear it a lot faster. However, if you do have super low battle power, you can clear the stage, except it'll just take a long time. So you can watch the rest of the clip of me clearing the stage. I took essentially no damage. I stun locked him for most of the battle with Lucia Dawn. It's a little tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. For Lucia Dawn players specifically, I highly recommend that you don't auto attack all the way and dash forward with your last auto attack. So essentially you'll be dodging. However, if you don't see him doing that white line attack with the battle cry or whatever you want to call it, then you're going to have to slow down your auto attacks or just stop auto attacking for one or two seconds and then just auto attack again. So you can reset your auto attack combo and not go through that dash. That dash will mess you up 9 times out of 10, so make sure you time things very carefully. But that's it for me, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The rest of the video is going to be basically my main team fighting Kamu, and it's no damage. He's essentially stunned throughout most of the fight. I wasn't able to concentrate fully in order to stun lock him all the way, but for the most part it was a good amount and it made the fight a lot easier. If you just want to try this trick just to see if you can do it too and if you can stun lock him the entire time, well go for it. It's these are little challenges that you set yourself which makes things kind of fun. So I wanted to do no damage, I didn't have to. I wanted to stun lock him for as long as I could basically and I tried it and it's pretty fun in order to try to achieve these mini goals. But that's it for me, good luck to you guys and I'll catch you guys next time. お次の戦闘は何ですか<笑>